Hello my friends and welcome to Bedtime Stories with Lily. Today I want to read a book for my little son Michael. You know, he is just only one and a half year old. I think this book is a little bit difficult for him in this age, but he really loves it because of nice pictures and the manner I read this story. I hope the story you also will like. So let's see what the book I prepared for you today. The book is called My Friend Bear by Jess Elborough. This is a story of a boy and a bear who made friends. They were really very lonely, but they met and they became good friends. I hope that in your life you have also nice friends. Ed is walking with his daddy. Ed's daddy's name is Freddy. Oh, Freddy, said Eddie with a great big sigh. Oh, I feel sad, but I don't know why. Freddy said nothing. sighed again. Oh, I wish you could talk, he said. And then, wow, look at that up! Up there on the stone, a giant teddy all on his own. We've seen him before. He belongs to the bear who lives around this wood somewhere. Suddenly, Something made Eddie turn round. A snuffling, scuffling bear sort of sound. A great big voice whined. Where is my teddy? He's coming, he's coming. Let's hide, cried Eddie. The great big bear came scuffling by. Then stopped with a sniff and started to cry. Oh, Teddy, he whimpered, what can I do? I've got no friends apart from you. And you can't talk and you don't care. I'm such a sad and lonely bear. Then just as he brushed a tear from his eye, a little voice whispered, Please, don't cry. I'm all on my own just like you, with no one to talk to and nothing to do. I'm a little bit lonely, too. You see, if you want, you can talk to me. The bear couldn't believe his ears. He gulped and sniffed and wiped all his tears. You can talk, after all, he cried. Of course I can talk, the voice replied. The bear came closer and scratched his head. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Why didn't you talk before, he said. Because I'm scared, said the voice, and small and shy, and you're a great big bear, that is why. There, there, said the bear, you're in a model. What you need is a great big cuddle. No, I don't, shrieked the voice. Yes. You do, said the bear. You just need some loving care. Don't be scared, you're my teddy. No, I'm not, cried the voice. It's me, Eddie. The bear stared at Eddie and clung to his teddy. Eddie stared back and hung to Freddy. Suddenly, Eddie started to grin. 
he felt the chuckle rise up from within. He tried to stop, but it wouldn't stay down. What's so funny? asked the bear with a frown. It's you, giggled Eddie. It's you standing there. You're such a great, a big silly bear. No, I'm not, said the bear. Yes, you are, yelped Eddie. You thought you had a talking teddy. Then the bear began to snigger. The smile of his face grew bigger and bigger. His great big belly wiggled and jiggled. I am a silly bear, he giggled. A talking teddy! I thought it was true, but all along it was really you. The bear held out his giant sized teddy, crouched down behind it and said, Hello, Eddie! I am a talking teddy. Listen to me. Aren't I clever? I'm only three. Then Eddie wanted to have a go. He held up his teddy and squeaked. Hello, my name is Freddy. How do you do? I can talk and I'm only two. They laughed and they laughed till their tummies were sore. Then they looked at each other and laughed some more. The bear started dancing and singing a song. And he made up the words as he wobbled along. I am silly, he sang, and I don't care. I'm such a great big Silly bear! Woohoo! said Eddie. I'm silly as you. And your Teddy and Freddy are silly too. All afternoon they played in the sun, seeing just who was the silliest one. When the sun began to set in the sky, they knew it was time to say goodbye. We are friends, said Eddie. The bear said, Who? You know, said Eddie. Me and you. The bear lifted Eddie up for a hug. Harry and Barry. Safe and snug. Take care, he said. Look after Freddy. We'll come back soon, whispered Eddie. Then off they walked with a smile and wave back to a house and back to a cave. Do you think that they're lonely? Not anymore. That's what having friends is for. The end, my friends. The end of the book. I hope you like it. I hope that you also have a true friend that you will meet and you will play with him and you won't feel lonely. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye, good night, sleep tight and see you next time. Bye-bye.